Hello, and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. This video is your guide to King Charles III's coinage, what we know so far. On the 8th of September 2022, the Queen sadly passed away. This did mean, however, that Prince Charles immediately became King Charles and took the throne from his late mother. Only a few weeks later, the first collectible BU coins were released. So let's take a look. Here is the 50p. We see four shields with the national emblems of each country in, a crown in the middle, and the national flowers. You may recognise this design, however, as this was the design used on the Queen's coronation crown all the way back in 1953, and has been reused for her memorial 50p to mark her life and service to the country. On the obverse of the coin, we see the new portrait of Charles III, done by Martin Jennings. Here he is, to the right. The inscription reads, Charles III, DG Rex FD, 50 pence, meaning Charles III, by the grace of God, King and Defender of the Faith, 50 pence. There have been some complaints, as in tradition, the King's name is in Latin on the obverse, meaning that it should be Carlos rather than Charles. But everyone is happy about this news, as 9.6 million of them will be entering circulation in December this year of 2022, so very soon you could be finding Charles III coins. Here is a £5 coin released to mark the Queen's reign as part of the set. We see a portrait of the Queen from the start and end of her reign, marking her life of service. And once again on the obverse, Martin Jennings' portrait of Charles III can be seen. The legend is slightly different, instead of 50 pence it says £5 for the denomination, and the date is this time on the obverse rather than the reverse. The previous two coins were available in bunk, silver and gold, but this is the crown, which is only available in silver proof or gold proof making it an exclusive coin. It features a lovely portrait of the Queen, lots of floral emblems, and the words Elizabeth's reign, and then 1926 to 2022, which was her life. With the varying weights and denominations of precious metals, there were different obverses. This one here is a two pound coin for the one ounce silver version. The date is also on the obverse for this coin as well. There was huge demand for these first batch of Charles III coins when they were released, but most of them have now found a home in collectors' collections as they have all been delivered from the Royal Mint. But since then, more Charles III coins have been released and promised, so let's take a look at what's up next for collectors to get from the Charles III coin range. For the remainder of 2022, 2023 Britannias in gold and silver are being released with the Queen's fifth portrait on, but as soon as the 1st of January arrives, all bullion Britannias, both gold and silver, will feature the Martin Jennings portrait on the obverse for these coins. Very exciting. On the 15th of November 2022, potentially what will go down in history as the most exclusive sovereign was released to collectors. The Queen's Memorial Sovereign, here it is, in all of its glory and beauty. As well as being the first ever sovereign to feature the new portrait of Charles III, this coin has only been released in the proof variants meaning there are no bunk or bullion coins to have for collectors, so people who want the coin will have to go the extra mile and spend enough to have a proof version. And if this isn't enough, these are only being made until the end of the year 2022, so there are only a few weeks left for collectors to buy this. During these last weeks of 2022, any new coins released by the Royal Mint will feature the Queen's portrait on, but as soon as it ticks over to 2023, from the 1st of January, all coins will feature King Charles's portrait by Martin Jennings, including 2023's annual set, the first annual set with a new monarch for 70 years. Please do comment down below if you have any Charles III coins already, or if you're planning to buy any. Please do feel free to buy us any new Charles III sovereigns as a Christmas present, as that will be greatly appreciated. But subscribing will also do the trick. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you again on Bits and Bobs. Bye.